Hey guys, it's the Lee Factor once again, and today we are doing... <laughs> We're doing a video today that I thought about doing since Ashley from Best Dress did a similar thing, turning herself into an e-girl while talking about TikTok. However, I've known about TikTok for a while, and I have gone down that TikTok rabbit hole, so that is not why we are doing the e-girl thing today. This video was originally, this video idea, I should say, was originally to announce a very, very big change in my life and just have some fun doing it, just going some kind of thing that I know I could do by myself, because normally when I do, like, crazy outlandish looks on my channel, it is done by one of my many friends that are amazing at makeup. But anyway, so things kind of went a little haywire this past week, so instead of using this video idea to tell you exciting, great, fantastic news, it's gonna be more of like, I'm gonna look like an e-girl and talk to you about some life updates that shoot me multiple times in the feet. But we'll get into it when we start the look. So we're gonna start with my bare, bare naked face, my acne, ridden face. God. Is anyone else getting mask acne? Because Lord knows I am and I hate it. I had acne problems before the pandemic, but not like severe where it's just more like, okay, I'm having my period and then it's just gonna like flare up on my face. Since wearing masks, my face is very, very angry. I am still in full support of wearing masks, I should say this, preface that very clearly. However, they suck when you have to wear them 40 hours a week. <laughs> and you didn't get into the habit of cleaning them every day. So now I've got like masks up the wazoo so I can have a clean one for every single day of the week. <laughs> right, so the first thing we're gonna start off with is, since I've already completely washed my face, I'm completely bare right now, we're gonna start with my Tom Skin Booster Serum that I got from Eminence. When my face started really, really breaking out, like painful breakouts all around here, they gave me a bunch of this Calm Skin stuff and some acne stuff as well. A new acne cleanser instead of just my regular Cetaphil. Cause like that stuff worked just fine when I wasn't getting the acne. However, since now my face, I guess, is just getting more moisture on it than normal because of just breathing in the mask, it's just causing a lot more breakouts than I'm used to. So I had to switch cleansers. Hopefully when this is all over, my face will go back to normal too because it's, it's really struggling guys. After I put that on, I let it calm down a little bit and dry out a little bit. And I got from Rocky Mountain Soap Company Purifying Toner Tea Tree. Just spritz it all over my face. Oof. And normally, on an average day, I would just do that and that's it. But because we're just doing makeup today and we're not going to be wearing like a mask all day, I'm just going to use more stuff from Eminence. Firm Skin Acai Moisturizer. This is supposed to help you not have wrinkles as fast because I'm getting old and I'd rather not get as many wrinkles as I'm anticipating. And also make sure you always moisturize your neck because we want to look like we're permanently 18. <laughs> for my best, one of my best friends, Rosemary, to not rub in your moisturizer like I am on the rest of my face, like that on your eyes. You're supposed to dab your eyes, which took me a while to get used to, if I'm being completely honest. So after that's dry, I use Reduce Redness Primer. And remember, dab on the eyes, no rubbing. After that's done, I actually don't like letting it dry fully. I mean, this is probably wrong, because again, not a beauty guru, but I usually let it half dry, so it still feels a little bit damp on my face. And then I'll get a little bit more of my foundation. It's just the Kat Von D Locket. And my color, because I'm super ass pale, is light 41 neutral. To any of you other super pale girls out there, this stuff has been the only stuff that actually fully covers my face that matches my neck. It's fantastic. Oh, when I didn't have acne, this didn't take nearly as long. So next we're doing the same Kat Von D Locket, but it's the concealer. L1 neutral again. I got the concealer done, Laura Missier. It's just the translucent stuff. So I'm just gonna set this down. If I'm remembering properly from Best Dress video, she said that e-girls have extremely high blush. And let's just, let's just quickly look it up on my phone. I probably should have did this before I started filming, but eh, whatever. <laughs> my feed's already a bunch of e-girls because I was prepping like what outfits I was gonna wear. I really love the e-girl aesthetic, like, even this, like, this is so badass and cool looking, but uh, can we uh, just acknowledge for a second how comfortable that would be? I mean, the boots might not be, just because it's a little bit of a high heel, but I'm used to that now. But the rest of it, stupidly comfortable. Softer's more up my alley, softer, softer I can do. I don't have eyeshadow though, so it might not look exactly like super e-girl but I'm gonna try. Freckles all over her face, which I could do that today. So, um, normally after I'm done putting on all my foundation, 
I have to use a Q-tip to get it off my eyebrows and my lips. Sometimes the powder just gets on it and then it makes my eyebrows look lighter than they actually are. So this helps. It's kind of funny because basically what I'm doing right now is like what I do on a regular basis. But eventually we're gonna shift back into actual e-girl stuff. So I guess this is a, a really a mix of like Lee's everyday makeup look and then e-girl. Although I'm sure no one will be interested in like a regular makeup look, but whatever. That's fine. <laughs> if you made it this far, then clearly you like my channel, which if that's the case, I appreciate you. <laughs> from Best Dress Video, I really like the color that she used. So I ended up buying it from that same brand, Milk Makeup. She used it on both her cheeks and her lips. So I've been doing the same thing. This color is called Perk. Let's see if it'll work. Ah, I just rhymed. Okay, it focuses, but you probably can't read it. But it looks like it's mostly just on the innards, so I'm just gonna do that. Maybe that'll look, make me look like I don't have such thin lips. So I have really long eyebrows, right? So I normally have to do this to comb them out. But you can tell, as soon as I do that, all of a sudden my face looks much more shaped. Actually, while we're here, I usually comb my eyelashes too. Because my eyelashes are kind of thick, so... If I don't comb them, then they don't look as voluminous with mascara, they just look, end up looking clumpy. I hope this isn't weird again, anybody that has like issues with eyes. In this photo, she has it like here, all the way up here. I normally just do it on my cheekbone, but this is a knee girl look, so we're gonna try that. But I'm gonna have to look at the mirror for this, I'm sorry. <laughs> this feels really weird putting it in this spot. I'm just gonna blend it a little bit so it looks a little bit less like a line. Okay, I think that's good. Think? Eyeliner. This I can do. I do this every single time I do my makeup. So I, I have confidence that I can do this. Alright. Ah, uh, can I make this down more? Oh god. Maybe can I do it with a few better? Uh, no, I'm not gonna risk it. I, I want this to actually look good. <laughs> no. Camera one died. We'll just finish this eye. Next step, fake eyelashes. <laughs> oh God. Lord help me. But I have these. I wore these in Japan when I first went there, but Trisha put them on for me, so pray for me. <laughs> but she did say put a very small amount of mascara on first. Where's my mascara? So we're just gonna put a little bit on first, but I do need to comb my eyelashes one more time. Now realistically, this is all I would be doing if it was just regular makeup because I don't have the patience to try to do fake eyelashes every day. However, e-girls are extra, but I really, really hate putting on fake eyelashes by myself because I suck at it. Especially with fake nails, this might be even harder. Oh no, I just pulled off an eyelash! Shit! Shit! Guess I'm getting new ones later. I'm gonna let that be tacky. How do beauty gurus do this? Okay, I don't know if that really made a difference. Or if that even looks good. I don't know, I have no idea if that looked good or not. If, it, if anything, it just looks, makes my eyelashes look a little bit thicker, but not much. Oh, I think I know what I did wrong. I put it too close to my eye, the inner eye. Oh God, I think I fucked it up. I shouldn't have changed my mind. I think that's as good as it, <laughs> I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Um, I can't really see myself on camera because this, doesn't have a flip-up camera, but hopefully this looks okay. I just gotta put on the mascara on the bottom lashes. I just, <laughs> I just touched my face with my mascara. Uh, I think eye makeup is done now. That's, that's the extent of my knowledge. What's the next thing? Freckles. Hmm. Okay, I have this stuff that my mom gave me to fill in my eyebrows. It's just this, this light brown stuff. So we'll do this a little bit, mostly on the edge of my eyes, because, in fact, when I was little, I used to be, like, white blonde, and my eyebrows were also white blonde. And over time, they eventually grew uh, to be darker, but the ends of my eyebrows, like here, they were white blonde for way longer, so it looks like I have, like, half an eyebrow. Um, I fill those in every once in a while just to make them look a bit thicker. Most of the time I don't, just because I'm super lazy. But this brown looks really similar to what the color of her freckles are. And I didn't do that with my first e-girl attempt when I did it for TikTok. Basically this, but without the false eyelashes. And then did hearts under the eyes like Best Dress did. So I'm still gonna do that because I thought that would look super, super cute. But we're gonna do the freckles first. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, cool. I think that's it. I just need to do those little hearts now. Okay, the longer I'm looking at self myself, the longer I feel cuter. So I'm going to take that as a good sign. 
bullshit. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. I might have to redo the freckles a little bit under there, but, but we're recovering. We are recovering. It's actually looking pretty cute, actually. What is this sorcery? Ah, oh, I wish this was my job. That'd be so amazing. I think I'm gonna get freck. This actually is pretty cute. I'm shocked. <laughs> well, um, they're both cute hearts. However, one clearly looks smaller than the other. <laughs> I think that's good enough? I'll do the wig first. Okay, so yeah, I got a wig. I was wanting to be extra, so I got a wig! <laughs> Except the problem is I had wig caps and now I don't. So we're gonna have to braid back my hair really well to do this. While I braid my hair, since that doesn't take very much concentration at all, I will start telling you guys what happened and problem that recently arose. Since I started this channel, I have been keeping all of my files on one drive. And when making YouTube videos, it takes up a lot of memory. And because of this, most YouTubers, including myself, use external hard drives to carry all their files and plug it into their computer when they need to edit. Because if you have all those files on your computer, even if your computer does have room for it, it will slow it down. And when you have an editing software like mine, for example, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, you want it to be able to run as fast as possible, otherwise it can be a freaking battle to edit anything. And when I got my new laptop just before I started the Night Before Halloween project, I decided to invest in extra money in a really good hard drive in hopes that it would not break down on me because I had a hard drive to carry all of my like personal files and my family files and everything like that, but a second one also of the same kind of hard drive to carry my Hello Project DVD stuff. If any of you guys have heard of K-pop, you'll kind of understand J-pop then. It's basically the same thing, but from Japan. And I had a bunch of DVDs of uh, the groups that I follow and funny skits and whatnot, and it was fun, but I kept it all on one hard drive. But then one day, after dropping it, I should say, I would try to plug it into the computer and nothing would pop up so I wouldn't be able to actually watch anything on that hard drive. I couldn't access anything on it. And I was told that it costs a lot of money to try to recover files when that happens because apparently that is a common problem with external hard drives that eventually they'll just crap out and then you can't access your stuff, right? So obviously that's not ideal and kind of scary because sometimes in special cases, the files are gone forever, which again, not ideal. <laughs> I just left that hard drive alone for a long time in hopes that one day I would make be have enough money in my account to actually be able to cover them, especially if I like went on a vacation to Japan, for example, and wanted to watch them. Fortunately, I never got it fixed, so I didn't actually get to bring it with me to Japan when I went in 2016. But the reason I bring up that story is because two days ago, I was editing the Harley Quinn Demon character video from my Night Before Halloween project, and I had plans that evening to watch a movie with one of my friends from Vancouver, and we were gonna FaceTime and watch a movie. But he was like, I want you to pick a movie. And I was like, okay, well, there's nothing on Netflix I particularly wanna watch right now, but there's this one movie on my movies passport that I want to watch. So we've done this before, where I'll find the movie on my passport, I'll upload it to my Google Drive, share the file with him, and then we'll watch the movie together. When I tried finding my movie, I couldn't find it. So I unplugged that movie's passport from my laptop I currently use, and re-plugged in my hard drive that I use that carries all of my The Lee Factor files. All my photos, all my videos, everything. Everything that I've collected over the past five years of making videos and taking photos of vacations. But when I plugged this hard drive back into my laptop, it wouldn't pop up. And I kind of panicked a little bit and saw my light flash before my eyes. And I know I sound very dramatic right now, but that is exactly how I felt. Now the same thing was happening to that hard drive as my Hello Project passport years prior. Except the kicker this time was, I didn't drop that hard drive like they did with the, the Hello Project one. I just had it on my desk and all I did was unplug it and try to re-plug it in, but nothing was popping up. And then when I realized that was going on, I tried to unplug it and then re-plug it in on all three different USB ports on my laptop, but it still 
wasn't doing anything. So I unplugged it again and tried to restart my computer because my friend said, okay, that would probably be the best idea. Maybe it's just your computer needs to be reset. And I've reset my computer multiple times before. And then my computer decides, hey, we don't like that you tried to reset us. We're gonna delete everything off the computer. So hours later, finally get my laptop up and running again. By the time in the morning, it finished and I realized all my files have been erased like programs and everything. So I spent the next two hours before my shift at work re-downloading everything, like re-downloading Lightroom, Adobe Premiere, even my Firefox web browser, Waterfox, everything was gone. So that took bloody forever. And so I tried plugging in my USB to the passport one more time. Uh, and USB, and I tried plugging in my hard drive to the laptop one more time in hopes that maybe, maybe something overnight fixed itself and it's working. Still nothing. So this time it was making my computer freeze every time I plugged it in. So now I'm really panicking. <laughs> So I ended up calling Memory Express. Actually, well, I shouldn't like stop talking and doing this at the same time. So when you pin your hair for a wig, I've done this so many times that it doesn't really even phase me anymore. But you roll it up to kind of like show it back there, kind of roll it around your head so it can sit as flat as humanly possible and just pin the shit out of it. Because when you're putting on a wig, you really don't want there to be like this huge bolt on the back of your head that doesn't look very good. And then you're also not only does it not look good, but it's hard to keep the wig set where it needs to be and then you look like then it just looks like you have a giant forehead and no that's never cute on anybody cool okay hair's all back we'll continue the story after the wig's on so i'm excited i've actually never opened this since i got in the mail oh and uh, it's also from unzi you guys might have seen that before if you if you've landed on this video you've probably heard of this brand but i'll leave the link to this specific wig in the description if you'd like and no this is not sponsored but that's probably obvious because of how low my subscriber and view count is. But that being said, I'm still super thankful for you guys subscribing. Like, I've been trying to grow this channel for so long, so seeing that this month I've grown more than I than I have in the past couple of years in such a short amount of time, I don't... It doesn't seem like a lot to most people because it's only been like 10 in a couple of days, but normally I grow on average 10 in a month, and the fact that I've grown more than 10 in uh, like a week and a half is insane to me. So thank you so much. Can you do the clip thing when you're still flipped over. Okay, Woo. and adjust accordingly. Without stabbing yourself in the eye with the bangs. Oh my god, this looks so weird. Oh, this is so weird. This is so weird. Yeah, I think that looks cuter when it's a little bit less perfect looking, you know what I mean? I am not used to bobs. Okay, cool, I think I'm good. Okay, stop fiddlingly. <laughs> you fiddled a lot. It's just like, it keeps catching on to my eyelashes too, so I'm just like, Bleh. Okay, so we are currently in my bedroom. I'm gonna get changed. Three, two, one. looks a lot better. My only complaint though is that my belt broke. Belt buckle broke thing. You know that little like loop thing that holds your thing together when you tie it? But if you ignore that and it sits like that, I think this looks pretty cool. I feel kind of badass and really like where I'm wearing a costume but like weirdly myself. I don't know how to explain it but yeah so that's it. Um, <laughs> very pleased with this. I feel really cool. I mean, it works that I have my Jack Skellington nails, even though some of them broke. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Would you ever try a knee girl look like this? Cause like, this is a lot of basic, basic things that are at normal stores, but like once you put them together, they really, really make this aesthetic come together. <laughs> That's it for that, but I'm going to finish, finish my little rant. So as I was saying during my braid, um, my hard drive is not working and it is still broken, which freaking is making me into like this huge panic mode. So that's why I haven't been uploading for the few days. I was hoping I could get the Harley Quinn demon up before this happened, but then obviously this happened and now I can't access any of my files, which means I can't edit anything that I had prepped for this channel. Today was my first day off since the hard drive broke and it's Sunday as I'm filming this. And unfortunately the place that I called to recover the files is closed on Sundays. So my next day off is this coming Wednesday. So if they can fix the hard drive, I doubt it'll be happening on the same day that I drop it off. I've never done a data recovery before. When something like this happened to my photographer, Richard, he had coffee spill on his and it took like weeks and weeks for him to get all of his files back. So I don't know how long it's gonna take mine to get it back because that's three years worth of videos and content 
content that I had yet to put up. Like there's so much there and so many memories and I really hope that I didn't lose that because I, I, I mean, I don't, honestly, I don't know what I would do. That's why I wanted to do this video now, just to explain to you guys, I'm not dropping off the face of the earth again. My whole plan after my short film that I would be uploading as consistent as possible and at least until I could have more free time and not have as many hours at my shift to do once a week, but I'd be uploading consistently again. But when this hard drive thing happened, like, I hope you understand that I literally, I just, I can't. I'm working 40 hours a week and I'm doing my best. I'm just doing my best. So please understand that. And I hope you don't regret subscribing, but seriously, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sticking with me if you've been here for a while. And I will leave this video here. Everything that I'm wearing will be linked down below or at least something similar to it if I can't find the exact thing, if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching and remember, Think for yourself, use your head, and learn something new. Bye until future notice! <laughs>